I want to ask you all how you would react if your insurance was canceled because of what's on your Facebook page. You wouldn't like that, right? Well, th in this case, it was because of this picture. This little beautiful doggy, pretty cute. Insurance ain't eh, denied. Yeah, and denied. they say, they said it was because of the dog's breed. So here's the backstory to understand this. It was a couple in North Carolina lost coverage for their umbrella policy. They were veterinarians. After the insurance company found this photo of her dog on Facebook. And this is the catch. As part of the application, the couple, again, one of them, a veterinarian, listed the number of dogs they owned and their breeds. They truthfully listed that they were the parents of these three dogs. They listed the mix, including a hound, a hound lab mix, I guess a Yorkie mix. Then they received Nationwide's response and found out they were rejected for the extra insurance that their policy was being canceled. The company claimed it was because they had a Rottweiler mix. They consider that a dangerous breed in the insurance world, which, which look, we can get into that in a minute, but the pictures they had taken off of her Facebook page were of that dog. And the irony of it all is, it's not even a Rottweiler mix. Right. There's no Rottweiler. They ultimately, look, ultimately the insurance company said, okay, our bad, but by that point, they're obviously so upset. But to think that your well, Facebook picture- Is that part picture, of the vetting mechanism now that everybody, if they're gonna look into you, they're gonna go on Facebook and look at all your personal pictures, family I pictures? I didn't realize that that was a routine behavior of insurance companies and others, but probably that is now and the future. Understand the insurance world as a former actuary, um, you actuary. Well, and that's you what- actually were an actuary? I was. I was a math major in college. Explain to I was an actuary out so of college. Explain to us what it is. Well, it's all, uh, it's all about risk, and there are all these formulas used. Probability and-, and Probability, and of course, an insurance company is gonna say, well, Rottweilers are more likely to potentially attack someone else. Well, this was umbrella insurance, so it was the kind of insurance that would have to pay out for a dog bite. And for bi yeah, big umbrella policies are for big bucks liability coverage, sometimes up to $5 million or more, and so they do dig a little bit deeper. Do you have anything in your home that maybe puts you at high risk? But in this case, it's interesting because I don't know that we've ever seen a case before where they're going onto Facebook, going onto social media, they're going and, and I hate to say behind because the Because they consent. can. I mean, they're trying to do their due diligence and I mean, you know, they, they, they wanna cover their, their backside. Version I mean, of that's running business. a credit report. The Don't good, put it look, out there. It's at the end of the health. day, they talked to the insurance company. The insurance company did reverse course, but by that point, I, I think the couple said, "No, no, we don't." <laughs> we they don't picked another insurance. Once you and Nationwide did release the following statement: Nationwide's policy is to contact the member and agent to gather more information if there is uncertainty about a dog breed selection on an insurance application. Unfortunately, that policy was not followed in this instance. We have taken steps to rectify the situation to ensure a better experience for future nationwide applicants. Interestingly, there are 4.5 million dog bites a year. A thousand people a day go to an ER over a dog bite. So I can see why the insurance would be worried about pit bulls they and have Rottweiler. They out on those. At the end of the day, you could have a Rottweiler be the nicest, most you can. gentle dog in the world, but an insurance company is gonna say, if they insure you, they're gonna ask for a higher premium. It's just the reality yeah, of that world. because they have the stats on the dog bites, what by breed, and if it's one of those breeds that has a higher number of bites, they're gonna try to avoid insuring. Right. You actuary, you. So, wow, well. take your Facebook photos private. That's the take home.